Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to create a kind of a music video in which whatever is there in your video that reacts to the audio that is playing in the background. So this is what we are going to create today and in this as you can see that whatever is there in the video that is just our picture and some text it is reacting to the audio that is being playing in the background. So without taking much of your time let's see that what steps we need to follow for this. First of all uh, come to your After Effects and press Ctrl N to create a new composition. Now name it anything that you want. I'm naming it as Audio React. Next, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, keep a frame rate of 24 frames per second for this particular animation. And the duration I'm keeping 15 seconds, but this duration is to be adjusted as per your audio. Then press OK. Now what I have done is already imported some of the files in my After Effects composition. First of all, this is an audio which is around 1 minute and 58 seconds in length. So first of all, bring your audio into your composition area. Now all we need to do for the audio is just uh, right click on this audio layer. Here you will find an option of keyframe assistant. So go to it and uh, click on this convert audio to keyframes option. Next what we are going to do is uh, just import this image. And uh, this is the image that I have downloaded from the internet. You can get any image that complements with your audio or your background. But if you want the same image, I will share its download link in the description. So just bring it into your composition area and just adjust its scale by pressing S and scaling it down as per your wish. Or if you want, you can just right click here, then go to transform and select fit to comp so this image would be fitted to your composition area automatically next what we are going to do uh, with this image is uh, go to effects and presets and search for an effect called tint and apply it onto our image now as soon as you do that you will see that your image has been turned into a black and white background which we don't want obviously so just uh, Change the amount to tint value to a 35% and this is exactly what I want and I like it very much. So I'm going to keep it the same. The next thing that I'm going to do with my image is press T to bring up opacity and change its opacity value to an 80%. Now what I'm going to do is add some of the text over my image. So uh, grab onto your text tool and type in any text that you want. Now I have typed music as my text, but uh, it totally is your choice. So once you have uh, typed your text, you can just align it to the center, both horizontally and vertically. Then go to effects and presets and search for an effect called glow. Apply it onto your text and adjust some of the values. Like increase the glow threshold to a 70%. Increase the glow radius to a 51 or 50 and also increase the glow intensity. Now I'm keeping a glow intensity of around 3. Then again apply this uh, glow effect on the text. And this time we are going to keep the default values as it is. Then again go to effects and presets and search for an effect called fill. Apply this fill onto your text and click on this color panel. Now you can just choose any of the color for your text that complements with your background. This is the color that I'm happy with and it is this hexadecimal value. Once you're satisfied with your color, just press OK. And now what we are going to do is um, just expand this text layer, go to animate and click on skew. Now what we are going to do is uh, just expand this range selector. Here you will find an option called advanced 
and in advance change the based on from characters to words now just change the skew as per your wish i'm keeping these values uh, i'm keeping a skew of minus 13 and a skew axis of a 17 degrees and i'm pretty happy with it so you have to manipulate the text as per your wish and once you're happy with it that's all that you need to do now text and image is complete all we need to do is make it react to the audio so for that make sure that your audio layer is on top of all the other layers then uh, press f4 to change the modes and increase this view area now in the audio amplitude press u to bring up the keyframes and delete the keyframes for the left and the right channel now you will find uh, these both channel keyframes uh, so just go to here which is a graph editor option and from here make sure that your edit speed graph is checked because that is what we need to uh, do at present now from here what we are going to do is uh, mark the areas where the audio has the highest frequency and the lowest frequency as well so uh, this is the area for the highest frequency of the audio in the positive and as far as the lowest point is concerned it is minus 537.24 units per second so these are the highest and the lowest values which is roughly around from minus 500 to a positive 500 uh, which is what we are going to keep in mind next what we are going to do is just go to this uh, stopwatch icon and alt click here now as soon as you do that you will find this text box uh, like structure in front of you so just uh, delete everything that's written over here and copy this script over here i will share the script in the description so you can just copy paste it now once you have pasted your script uh, what you have to do is um, just uh, come back to your main timeline and go to your text layer press s to bring up the scale now before that make sure your audio amplitude slider is uh, shown over here then alt click again on this uh, stopwatch icon for the scale now as soon as you alt click on this scale you will find this pick whip tool so just drag it to the slider and you will see that your text has increased in size by a drastic amount. Now go to fix and presets and search for an effect called transform. Apply it onto your text layer and just decrease the scale value from here uh, to around 50 or until you are satisfied with the size of your text. The same thing you got to do with your background image. Press S to bring up scale, alt click and then drag this pick whip tool to the slider then uh, you will see that after some time your uh, image will also distort greatly in the shape and again yes so it has distorted in the scale so just drag this transform effect into your image and uh, scale it down a little bit until you are satisfied or it fits your composition now what we are going to do is uh, again go to effects and presets and search for an effect called brightness and contrast and apply it onto your image layer again now alt click on this brightness stopwatch icon and drag its pick whip uh, again to the slider now this is uh, what your effect would be generated now, if you want, you can just uh, press T to bring up opacity and play with its opacity values so that it complements with the uh, text that you have created. So I have uh, chosen an opacity value of 45%. Now, if you just uh, preview your animation from the very first frame, uh, make sure to just uh, change its resolution to a quarter for a smooth rendering process. You can see that uh, your picture and your text is reacting to the audio obviously you cannot hear the audio from here so what we are going to do is just go to file and click on export then press add to render queue uh, but before that what we are going to do is just uh, 
clip the work area to around 6 seconds and then we are going to render it because uh, we are only trying to see a preview so if we just render it now it would be a smooth rendering and it would be rendered fast and you can just see it quickly so that is the preview of uh, what our final product looks like and that is all in this tutorial today and i hope you all have enjoyed this for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye